go on, yeah. Over there for a few seconds, bro. Yeah. And I've snapped them out of it. Yeah. What I'm doing is I'm preparing them for the unexpected. And yeah. this is what I'm saying to you. Yeah, so yeah. I'm no scientist. I'm not, yeah, no, yeah. I'm not the most intelligent person. No, but what yeah. I am is on, dedicated yeah. in what I'm doing. I, yeah, but you're right about Tyson though. I, I, it's like you said, well, what do you call it? A thief in the no, a pocket or something? Thief in the night. A thief in the night. He well, took no, the title. What, he said, what yeah. he said was, he goes, Tyson came to my backyard. Mm. Fair enough. He goes, he robbed me like a thief in the night. Mm. He goes, he stole my titles. He goes, Anthony Joshua, he goes, I respect. He goes, he knocked me out. He knocked me down, then he knocked me out. He goes, and snatch the opportunity away from me. He goes, this is how boxing, you know, coming from Vladimir, that's a little bit rich because Vladimir weren't, weren't the one to go out and just demolish people. He always boxed careful. He always boxed on back foot. Mm. He could punch because he's a big man. And he had a, he, he, he got a, a, a routine that nobody could beat for years. Tyson went there, tipped it all upside down, burnt his head out and took his titles off him and blew him a kiss on his way out door. <laughs> yeah, Tyson, uh, were you in camp with Tyson when you went over to Austria? Because he would do, in, in, in Alps, his training camp? Yeah, it's in there. Well, big yeah, block, big yeah, massive Tyson, how would Tyson Does he own it all that? No, he didn't own it all. It's called the Stangle Work. The fellow, the fellow what's there, they sponsor him and they pay for all the sparring partners, but they actually stopped paying for all the sparring partners to come over because you got these uh, fellas from America, what were, you know, these ghetto boys from America. I don't want to mention no names, yeah. I know a few of them. <laughs> and walking around, walking around the hotel. This is a seven star hotel, bio hotel, beautiful, at foot of the Alps. And they'd be walking around with towels, uh, walking into the kitchen. Hey man, I, I, I'm, I, need, I need a drink. And, and, and it's all women, excuse me, it's all women what work there. Yeah. You know, with put pigtails and stuff like that. And they'd be like, ah! And these guys were like, what the fuck's wrong? I've come down for a drink, but they're swinging under the towel and all that, you know? <laughs> swinging so, under the towel. Yeah, so, so basically, it, that come to a stop. Uh, but the owner of the Stangle, uh, I actually met him, I used to sit and talk to him yeah. uh, three hours at a time sometimes. Yeah. And, uh, and he, he basically, he said to me, he went, you, he goes, you've got, always got a place here. He goes, yeah, anytime you want to come here, he goes, you uh, organise with, um, he's he's uh, head of staff. He goes, and you can come here on courtesy of me. Oh, so is that the owner? Yeah, the owner of it. Yeah. Did you get on the right with him? Yeah, yeah. I, like I said, I had to spend a lot of time talking to him because I always. You stay in touch with him, like yeah. I'm, I'm not, not a regular contact, but like I said, even Bernie Eccleston. I'm, yeah. I, I Did you get on the right with him? Yeah, I was in contact with him at one point. Went over to Monaco. We were over there, you know, oh, you watching Grand Prix with with him and uh, we, and Adam were there as well. Adam Bo, yeah, yeah. yeah. I did think Adam Move like motor racing. Oh yeah, loves it. Adam's, had, like? Adam's had some beautiful cars. Was it? Adam's had, I, I remember Adam buying a 250 grand Merc. 250 grand yeah. for Merc? What, for an old, a new one? No, it were an, S, it were an S63, but it were a formatic four wheel oh, drive yeah. before, they even, before they were even out over here. Do you remember that white one, David A. had with big white wheels, yeah, 22 well, inch Yeah, that were, that were an SL, SL500, SL500, yeah, SL500. The white, they were white, the alloys were white on it yeah, as well, yeah, wasn't it. it? Yeah, yeah. I remember, yeah. I remember, uh, I remember uh, Proch saying it did about seven or eight at Gallon or something. Yeah, the they, they actually bought. Brabus, it were a Brabus, Brabus wasn't it? it? Yeah. SL600 yeah. Brabus or something, yeah, something like it. that. Oh. Two C2 or two Cooper or something, something like that. Not yeah. only two door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another thing people, not many people know, like with Adam, and I don't speak about Adam because I love the guy. I don't speak about you get right friend. Adam is Yeah, Adam's Adam's an absolute. He's Adam's got a heart of gold. Mm. And when I say that, I don't just say I don't say it lightly because I know kind people. I know good people. I know motherfuckers as well. Mm. But with Adam. Adam's one of them. Uh, I'll give you a, a quick example. So they had a, a physio, and Adam would be embarrassed about me saying this, but these type of things should be known because human beings don't exist like this. So when we're speaking about David A and Adam, it's you have to be very careful not to get the two mixed for the same type of people. I'm not saying David they're different. A, they're very different. Aren't yeah, they? I'm not saying David A is a, a bad person, but I'm just mm -hmm. saying he's not the same person as what I know Adam to be. So Adam, we had a physio called uh, Kevin Lidlow. So this physio, he's physio to all the stars. I, don't, I can't mention names because per uh, co uh, client and patient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, confidentiality. Confidentiality yeah. thing. But uh, this guy got an amazing client list. 
and um, and uh, he were he were physio and David and just as a favour, uh, Adam said he goes he never took any money off me whatsoever and obviously London prices they're in the middle of summer oh. so you can imagine and um, and, I, and I remember Adam and David they bought him a brand new. Um, Aston Martin DB DB six or DB seven or DB nine. Or something. They bought this guy. They that's why? Brand new because that's what that's that's Adam for you. That's Adam. If Adam's got, he shares. If Adam's if Adam can help you, he helps you. Yeah. He's he's uh, that's Adam for you. So I, and and I, I think it's important to know to know these things because boxing's full of all different characters in it. Plus, as you know, Den's not like that. He's like Adam Boo, isn't he? Yeah. Den. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. yeah but definitely. like, there's other people that that. I'm not going to say who, but there's people who can be a bit, who are millionaires who we know who are guarded, aren't they? Mm. So we, and there's other people who won't go up bar and all that kind of thing, do you know what I mean? I heard the same, Russ. Yeah, and some I think people, why they like that. I heard the same, some people are so poor, all they have is money. Yeah. So yeah. you can have all the money you want, but if you've not got respect, you've not got love, you're gonna, you're gonna David A's one of them first tip bar, isn't it? He's, he's, he's like that and he likes to throw it apart. David, one of the things I'd say about David, he's generous as well, very, very generous, very generous isn't yeah. it? Yeah, but he, he just he loves pussy, doesn't he? Yeah, he, <laughs> yeah, he, like, yeah, yeah, he does, he bro. I've heard stories about him, and Dennis told me one, uh, when he fought Carl Thompson, they had a, a, a after party, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. But he ended up in hospital, didn't he? Oh, I don't know. I don't there know. were David A, Adam Small, Anthony Small, is it? Right. You yeah, know, he went to ISIS. He used to train me, Adam. Yeah, yeah he's crackers, isn't he? Oh, I don't he know. Went, he's like, Google him, Adam, Anthony Small. Right, Adam yeah. Booth trained him, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he trained him. Yeah. They were him at after party, yeah. Adam Booth and David's missus, I don't, I've never met her, but they were all at hospital. But everybody else were partying, weren't they? Mm. On David A's tab. Yeah, he's And he's Dennis, he's he's Dennis, he's Dennis, Dennis uh, Carl Thompson, they, he, he obviously, because Dennis were promoting David A, wasn't he? Yeah, at yeah, the that's time. right, yeah. And he said, don't take this fight. Yeah, Dennis actually said that. Don't yeah. take the yeah. fight. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Adam Booth, he was young and ambitious, <laughs> wasn't he? <laughs> well, Adam, Adam's... Uh, He'll have learned from that, Adam Booth, wasn't well, he? Well, that's it, we're always he, learning. He learns from mistakes, doesn't he? Yeah, definitely. You get that impression, he's, he breaks things down, he's yeah. very methodical, beyond, doesn't he? Beyond what I can... We don't want Adam. He's the deep, isn't he? Like Adam's yeah. very deep. Adam's uh, he's an obsessive. Adam will sit there. And yeah, he's got OCD as well, isn't he? Yeah, definitely. An I version of it, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he, he pays off for it, doesn't he? You know. Well, he's minted, like, isn't he? Yeah, he's doing well. Adam is doing well. Yeah. But, but yeah, doing really it's, well. uh, it's a funny sport, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And do you know what? There's people you can meet somebody one day that can be just living in a normal house. Next day they could knock somebody out, three months later get another fight or get an opportunity mm. and then they just stand at millions of pounds. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You've got to be need to win it. Yeah. And this is what I'm hoping you're gonna to say to Cash. <laughs> well because he can be in it to win it, can't he? I mean what he could be six kids? fights, eh? What do I do with kids? What did what did my little six year old? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You you explained to him about Money and stuff like that. What does he do with every pound he gets? Seventy percent. We only it? spend seventy pence. Yeah, what do yeah. you do with over thirty pence? Save oh, it. we spend ten pence on charity. We spend ten pence on yeah. investment, and we use ten pence to work for us. Yeah. That's called that's an investment. My six-year-old just said that to you. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You did. Right? You said it to me. So yeah, yeah. But your other lad said it to me, didn't he? Yeah. If you think I'm teaching my six-year-old and the eleven-year-old and my fourteen-year-old, my sixteen-year-old, my twenty-year-old, my fourteen-year-old, my thirteen-year-old, my twelve-year-old, and my eleven-year-old. If I'm teaching them that, how many kids have you got, Richard? Yeah, I think there's about about. 12, You've so got 12 kids? Yeah, I yeah. didn't know that. Not, not me personally. Oh, I'm yeah. Jim. Oh, you do? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Jim, Jim. yeah, you're teaching all of them that. Yeah, and, and Cash. Is and Cash as well, is he picking up they all of them? They all train together. Cash trains every single day with them. He looks yeah. to me like he ain't got a. Uh, he, he's not, I don't think he's very street wise, is he? Yeah, oh, Cash is, is he? Cash has got his ear to ground. Yeah, he's, not he? daft. he's not that. Cash oh, is just. He's just quiet. He's quiet, yeah. yeah, he's, yeah. He's, uh, he's very. He chooses his words. Definitely. But me and Cash are first and foremost very good friends. Yeah. Um, yeah. And what we do in here is just uh, it's an extension uh, of our friendship. But yeah. with regards to like I say Russ, it's not only in there I'm teaching them to be the most effective they can mm. be. I'm teaching them to be the most effective they can be out here because yeah. like I said to you Russ, you, you know my story. Yeah. I went and came into co- got Same out, as me, got, got, yeah, yeah, got for thirty years and it's coming to got into boxing. 
uh, got our boxing, yeah. living in the With car, your brains. living in the car. Never. Yeah, yeah our, our homes, man. I was living in the car. Only our choice because I, I can't take things from people. I can't ask yeah. anybody for anything. Then uh, a very, very, very good friend of mine um, gave me a significant amount of money and said to me, Richard, uh, sort yourself out with that, get things up and rolling, and basically save, save my life. I set certain things up with it and this and that. And, um, how can I ever, ever, ever repay that? You know, yeah, I, can, yeah. I, I will repay every single penny back to the fellow uh, eventually, yeah. um, which he understands. Uh, but um, the, the, that, just the moral of the favour, how can I ever repay that? See, the guy saved my life, he saved the life, you know. Um, so when it when it comes to making the right decisions, making the wrong decisions, that's probably I, I get that right with the kids before they even step yeah. in or put on. How long ago was that, Richard? About ten years ago. Less than that. Less. Yeah. Yeah, less than that. Yeah, stop boxing. Uh, yeah. Well, but after the Lucas Brown fight, you went into depression. No, not at all. I, I, I won't. I won't say depression. I won't say You're just that. down on your luck, do you think? No, nah, I don't think. I think we we'll make our own luck for us. I don't think yeah. we to do with that. I think it won't. Few long turnings, do you think? No, nah, I've never worked in a job. You know? Yeah, I've yeah. never. I, I did work in a job. I worked at Box and Spencer in town in cafe once. Yeah. I worked in train station once. I worked in train a fact, station. What I, were you doing there? Just work experience, work oh, yeah, yeah. catering. So I worked in a factory once. Each time I've had a job, I think I've had five jobs. I've ended up filling one of co-workers in, or I've ended yeah. up filling manager in for speaking to me like a dog. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm saying to you, Russ, is I never went down that route of getting a job yeah. and, and uh, being. I never did that type of thing. So when it comes to me doing something. You've said it yourself, I'm obsessed with what I'm doing. Yeah. But if I haven't got nothing to be obsessed with, I'm being honest with you, Russ, yeah. I don't necessarily, it doesn't necessarily register with me to go down to the job centre, get a job, uh, go and ask this fellow, see if I can work in, in uh, doing labouring or doing whatever. I'm just not, I'm not, I've not got a nine to five mentality. My way of doing things is I meet people, I make relationships, I put things together, yeah. I speak to this guy to make, to to introduce him to this guy, and this guy because I've done him this favour, he'll do me a favour, which I make work for me, then I'll do it with this, I'll do it with that, I'll do it with this, and I put things together and that's all I've done, Russ. I've all I've done with this, all I've done with everything else that I'm doing. Yeah. So um, when it comes to the typical nine to five mentality of right, I'm like you said, down on me look. Boxing's not worked out for me. I'll just go into a job and earn a wage. My brain don't work like that. Yeah. So, there's a price to pay for that. Yeah. If I'm not going into work, I'm, I'm not going into something that's going to give me immediate money or give me an immediate turnaround. Yeah. Unfortunately, sleep in your car, Richard. So I slept in the car for four months. Four months? Yeah. What were you doing to get a wash? I was going into gyms and stuff like that. And obviously training, I was still training. Yeah, I was going into gyms and, you know, um, having, showers and stuff like that and I'm, I'm always clean yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, when you've been in jail it doesn't bother you all no, about that does that's it the thing, Russ, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit of a you know you know like uh, sleeping in your car yeah. it's only like 12 o'clock well seven isn't it six yeah. o'clock or something well, yeah I, and i'd literally i just i just i just go and park up somewhere and just mm. get my head down and i'd wake up and uh, there were times where i couldn't even put fuel in the car to put yeah. in you know? You know what I mean? So I'd uh, and and I've got friends what I've got what are uh, very very wealthy. Yeah. If I went to them, if I went to them, I'm, like, I, I'm stuck. I need your help. Please help me. They'd have helped me. Well, look at that. I went to I went to prison to visit a good friend of mine, uh, somebody that I've known since uh, me me wild days, me young offender days. Yeah. Um, and we just sat and visit talking, and he and I've drove. Uh, four hours to uh, one to a prison. I've drove down there with traffic on a Friday. Uh, I've got down there, um, went in to visit, and obviously I've got a four hour drive back. So we just sat talking, and he's going, Oh, so um, ask him, Richard, what's happening anyway? Tell me about the stuff you, that you're doing and this and that. And I was just like, Yeah, was, everything's going good. I'm just training. And, and I start to bullshit like in my mind, like yeah. I couldn't think what to say because I weren't, I weren't doing anything. I'm sleeping in my car. Yeah. Things, had, things in boxing had, had, had dropped off. You know, I'm not going to sell drugs. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to rob anybody. You know what I mean? So 
I'm in a bit of a pickle, but I didn't want to say that to him because I didn't want him to feel like I'm adding to his problem of already yeah, being in prison. Yeah, yeah. So I was like holding it down in his grin. So basically, you, you were homeless then, weren't you? Yeah, so he's going, he's going what's wrong with you, Richard? So I'm like, it's not, and the more he's saying what's wrong with me, I'm like getting a lump in my throat because this is my dear friend, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, uh, and he just went, Richard, he went, what's wrong with you? And I couldn't help it. I just went, whoa. And I was just like, fucking, I'm sorry about that. He goes, where, where have you come from today, Richard? And I told him that I come from Adams, down south. But I am, I come from Sheffield, obviously. Yeah. And, and I did my word, I lent 60 quid for petrol. Um, so I knew it was going to get me that, I didn't know I was going to get back. Uh, but I've got to see my friend because I've given my word. So I've gone there um, and, um, and, and, and I'm stood there, I'm sat there and he's going, what Richard, tell me. He, he put his hand, as soon as he put his hand on my shoulder, I was like, whoa, I was like, neck. What am I doing? I'm busy, do you know what I mean? I'm not, not we carry on. You're in a big sentence, see, pal, like, yeah. yeah. And, um, and he just went, Richard, he went, oh, why, why have you not fucking told me? Yeah. And he just went, Richard, he went, he said, my lad's gonna come and see you. Then two days later, his lad came and saw me, and I don't want to say what he dropped me off, but yeah, he dropped yeah. me a very significant amount of money off, and sold my life right out. Yeah. I wasn't expecting it, you know. And, and that guy, yeah, I, um, I love that guy, man. He, he saved my life, simple as that. And, and, and made and saved me a lot of embarrassment and a lot of danger because I've got people out there, no doubt, that if they saw me lie on the floor with, with a broken leg like a wounded animal, I've got no doubt, metaphorically speaking, they'd fucking devour me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you were good eyed, yeah. yeah, well, I don't know about good eyed anymore. Yeah, they'd, they'd, fucking have they'd like it, wasn't they, yeah, if you were like down? Yeah, if you'd have seen you yeah. having a hard time yeah. with it. Definitely. They didn't like to. Yeah. He's, this guy helped you out, yeah. got you back on your feet, and, yeah. you, and you've been going from strength to strength, haven't you? Yeah, so definitely, you've definitely. You've definitely. got good people around, haven't you? Know? Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, you've had it rough, mate, haven't you? Well, you know, to be honest with you, Russ, I don't, I don't feel like I've had it rough. I feel like I've had a few bad spells. They're not I much is going to bother you after going through all that, is it? Well, Brendan used to say, Russ, yeah. like, Brendan used to say, how can you be fucking bothered? About this fucking baldy bastard with all the tattoos. <laughs> Brown, Lucas Brown. And we're sat in room and I'm thinking, why is he saying this to me? I, I, I don't want him to say that to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in there. I had flu at the yeah. time. I had chest infection at the time. Yeah. You know, all these things don't matter. It's just excuses. Yeah. But what I'm saying to you is, is I'm sat there and I'm thinking, I just want to lie down. To be honest with you, Brent, I'm, I feel a bit dizzy. And he would have sat there drilling me all night. Yeah. Listen to me. You've been through hell. This is nothing. 20,000 oh, I mean, people were there. He goes, don't worry about it. And you know, what the, you know how the story goes. It was yeah. I went in and I weren't so, yeah. so Did you feel that you weren't prepared for that fight with Lucas Brown? Mentally more than physically? Because Dominic always has fighters in good shape, doesn't he? Yeah, Dominic's, Dominic's good at getting fighters in yeah. shape. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. got, that's his, he sort of makes his, living out of, they're always in shape, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. Fair enough, he, he's not going to be as experienced as his dad be anything else, but he does get the guys, they're always fit. Like Peter Fury's fighters, they're 29 fighters, aren't yeah, they? Exactly that, exactly yeah, exactly that, exactly uh, that. Dominic's, uh, uh, Peter equal there, the, the, the professionals. They're the big on uh, cardiovascular, aren't they? Yeah, all well, well, I think uh, they, they understand Peter as in particular, because Peter were a professional boxer. Yeah. Um, and um, I think, People what have got that experience. Obviously, these are fighting men. You know, yeah. not not necessarily Dominic, but Peter and you know Fury's the fighting mm. men. So mm. they've got good understanding that most fights need you, fit. you need to be fit. Yeah, you need first to thing. have trained to do certain things, and you're fortunate to to be in a boxing match because they can go right. We can look at this guy. We can take little examples and go right. We'll work on this in a street fight or an organised fight. What. A lot of travels are known for getting involved, especially Fury has been involved with, with this yeah, fight. They, they like all that, I'll with. get outside, they all that on combo. Oh yeah, there's no, there's no preparation in that, so oh. um, you, uh, yeah, definitely these, these guys understand that you know, you've, you've definitely got to be in shape and uh, it speaks for itself when you look at the fighters, look at mm. you know, uh, 
you wear, look at Tyson, look at all these, look at, we're, we're, we're Brendan, uh, uh, sorry Dominic, yeah. uh, look at Kel, because uh, people don't realise, Brendan didn't speak to Kel, he yeah. never spoke to Kel, he didn't, he didn't want no Kel. Brendan used to say to me, I don't want anything to do with him. Why he, not? Because he, he, he goes, he goes, he went, he went, he left me and went to Dave Caldwell. He went, I spent Did, did Cal Brook start his career with Brendan? Yeah, he did, yeah. And then he went to Caldwell. Yeah, he went. Then he went to Dominic. Yeah, then he went, he went then back. Then he went to John Fuel. Yeah. And he's just gone back, hasn't he? Yeah, he's just, and he's just gone back. But Brendan, Brendan used to say to me, he goes, I don't want him in the gym. He goes, I don't like him. Dominic's, I didn't know, did he? Yeah, but Dominic, Dominic, Dominic's business. Dominic yeah. understands that mm -hmm. you've got to separate yourself personally from certain situations for mm -hmm. something to pay off. Yeah. Dominic understands. Dominic's got an attachment to Kel simply because they've known each other for a long time. But yeah, they've been with his dad helping him when he started, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Um, he one Dominic when his dad were trained, didn't he learn off his dad? He was in yeah, gym, he, he, he was in gym. Because he used to help train Naz, didn't he? Yeah, that, he did, yeah, he used to pick up on certain He's really known Kel so. then, wasn't it? Yeah, he'd have known Kel, that's what I'm saying. They've got a lot of history together, so yeah. I think Dom's probably got a little bit of attachment there. Mm. But at the same time, Dominic's not stupid. Dominic knows that one big fight with Kel can earn him a significant Percentage. Well, it is, is it? He's caught, is it 10% or whatever trainers get in it, yeah. Well, wh whatever it is, but what I'm saying to you yeah. is, is um, it, they've got an agreement, they've got an understanding, but yeah. as far as Brendan were concerned, Brendan, he used to say, he, Keller, he would walk in gym and, and Keller would go, morning Brent, and Brendan would go, watch me lips, fuck off. Is that what he used to say to Keller? Every Brooke? time. So Keller just didn't talk to Brendan. And that was that. Oh, well, that must have gone on for years, man. Years. This is what, and, and, and I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to talk and all that, but let's be real about everything. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, uh, with regards to um, uh, uh, Kel, I get on with Kel. Uh, Kel's, Kel's an associate, um, but uh, Dominic understands that there's an opportunity there. Kel understands that. Yeah, go on, yeah, go on, that's what they used to do, and that's what worked for him. And he's. Uh